Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. That's me. That's you. All right. Nice. We did it, everyone. We did it. We're at two god. Oh god. Hippodrome. 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 We're in a historic site. Can't remember why. I think we're just kind of hanging out. Um, we're just basically trying to get the historic sites done that we have access to and that we know we can do because, you know, they're fun. Um, this to me, like, is the game in a lot of ways. Uh, more so than the, some of the quests to be. To I'm be just real. trying to stretch this out to 100 up. You know, that's when we get syndication. I right? don't know if we're going to make how this it. works. My dude, I don't <laughs> think I don't think we're going to get this. Challenge accepted. I mean, I, I I applaud you to give it a go. I mean, there's always season two. Sure. Uh, but yeah, we are still on this like ridiculous build. Um, the Vat Man has become basically a god. Oh, we got a humor. Oh, that thing's bad. Yeah, it is bad. That thing is real bad. That's a gyro humor, I think. <laughs> I, I I don't mess around with those. Oh, oh. Uh, Geodisc isn't really going to do it, TBH. If you want to take that thing out safely, you're going to need grenades. Or just shoot it. You have a pretty V gun. It doesn't have very high AV. Ooh, we got anti. I forgot about that. Oh, that's right. This brick site has oozes as friends, which is kind of dicey. That's kind of really not okay, to be honest. <laughs> Well, you're, you're taking this thing out pretty handily. Every shot you do is like 20 damage. Got him. Got him. He did. We still have an anti -pim. Watch out for the anti -pim. That's the one thing that might actually pose a genuine threat for you. You keep saying that word. I don't know what you mean or talking about. Threat? Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of the word. Oh, this anti prism. What is this anti prism? Oh, uh, that's that that, that's it. That right there. That's that's a gel. That's a goo. Ew. It's a goo. Ew. That particular Ew. goo, uh, once it Ew. consumes you, can make copies of you, and they will be uh, aggressive to you. That's particularly bad. No other way. Yeah. We need to uh, we need to get you a better cell. We might have to do some ruin diving at some point. Ooh, a bear. A bear? Dead. I mean, bears pose such a menacing, like, presence in this game. You should have been called Bavert Man. Where'd he go? There is he this, is. is this... Yeah. I love the, I like it. I love the bear tile so Dead. much. There's something really cute about the little, little growly face on the bear. Air buzzes Oops. with knowledge. Do you know that? Do you know that air buzzes with knowledge? Uh, I have. I read that somewhere. Yeah. I think I read it in a book somewhere. Nice. Those ur urchins giving you 50 XP is kind of nice, actually. It Do is... well and abide the mimic. <laughs> well and abide the mimic. Void safety from its injector thickened. Deal as it phases. Deal as it phases. It's true today as when it was written. That's a self-help book. Well, dead end there. I am hungry and inspired. Is there anything we're still trying to achieve here? No, yeah, I mean many things, really. Um, do we have any mirror dust? I believe we have at least one. Oh. Um no. Yeah, we don't have any. Yeah. Um, we still don't have the dream of like congealed skulk, bone meal, and whole. Like it, it's kind of it's insane that we haven't gotten the dream meal yet. But uh, yeah, we're looking for that. You know, plus four strength, plus four agility, and uh, plus two AV. Let's see if we get it. Nope. Still no. I mean, two AV. Whenever mm. you take damage, is a twenty. I'm pretty sure we already have something like that, but. Um, fifty percent chance to dismember or slam your opponent. That's pretty good, actually. That top one. 
that's really nice let's do that one yeah that's like a one-two punch if ever i've seen one skull Kulk. yo <laughs> i like that Skull Kulk honey bones all right that garbage no they called me fat but what they didn't know was that i was actually just big boned and then i showed them <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I dismembered him from a distance. Frustrum. I think you did. No, I didn't. I ran away. If you can dismember a gel, you might be able to technically have limbs. Pseudopods. Mm-hmm. Do we have another cell we can put? It is getting kind of kind of low. Ooh, golly. Let's take a look. You could just hit the reload button. It would uh, give you a list of cells. I mean, we can do it this way as well. We have a used nuclear cell. That's got to be better. Lately. That'll buy us some time. I kind of, you know, one thing I, re I would love to see. Maybe I'll make a mod for this. I'll have to see. Uh, I'll, I'll run it by Narf, see how hard it would be to, be, to have this. But I would love to see, um, like, battery chargers be a thing. Um specifically ones that you could mod with like you know uh solarized or i don't know like some what, what would be the caves of cut equivalent of like solar powered but like just a, a little thing you could put a cell into that doesn't do anything but charges the battery if you, like you're out in the sun or has like the fidget mod so you can like you know it'll charge it slightly as you walk around um because, like, power is uh, is one of those difficult things to manage in CUD. Unless you have the jacked mod. Or, uh, I think the true kin equivalent is there... I forget what it was called, like, the bio generation stream or something. Like, there's a, a mm. cybernetic that you charge your um, devices from your own bloodstream. Taco, taco Suprema. Suprema. Nice. Actually, Add all of that is pile. good. That whole, that whole box is pretty good. Even the desalination pellet is uh, tech money. Intigid Wimbake. And permeating our roots dreamed of joggling. That's pretty good. I like joggling. That's when you juggle and go jogging at the same time. Works out your legs and your uh, your arms. Form tiny mouths to tessellate. Little bit. Ursimrod. Location of Ursimrod is a ruin. I was kind of hoping that was another historic site. No. Can't have it all. Can only have can't have it all. And even then. Even then, sometimes what? no. I got confused briefly. Uh, you know what I would do is let's uh let's hold down the melee button, the melee nearest. Oh, okay, never mind. I was kind of hoping your dude would like roam around and kill stuff. Um, cause there's a there's that a bunch of making me confused. There's some still gas. Those urchins drop a confusing gas. I'm just about ready to to play this game myself. I've actually been kind of a break. And I think I'm ready. I'm finally ready, maybe, to be Caves of Code on classic mode. Ugh. It's been a minute. Let's go further down. Let's do that. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. At least there's no novice of the sightless way here, though. Fitted with filters on your uh, your hat then you would be less prone to uh confuse do we have that mod no oh i've never heard those words before Are you sure yes all right but i i have from this playthrough i i now value the light rail on a whole it seems to be a very very good flower aloe fugue mm. i can't remember what they do so i mean probably stay away from it good you advice got, you got very lucky uh, with this historic site though it's just flowers and a, a few gels do we want to do a uh, odyssey Auto oh, snail mother. Those are kind of a not a huge fan of snail mothers. You might you might have to get your hands dirty with because they their AV is kind of absurdly not good enough. 
Ooh, Carava. A Carava. We are not going to be able to equip that, unfortunately, but we can have a look at it. it grants you Clairvoyance. Oh, we're not, we don't have Cairo uh, rings equipped right now, do we? No, they need power. All right, why don't we, uh, why don't we roll with it for a little bit? We, we need to get you an anti, uh, antimatter cell. Aha! Oh my God, I'm being watched. It's a familiar feeling when someone has watched you in the past. When it's light that's betrayed your presence, you made a friend of the dark. You pull your hat brim low over your eyes. You step behind the cover of a detached wall. But those who watch you now watch in spite of such simple obstructions. Their sight isn't me mediated by the rays of a gleaming star or torch, but by something much older. If there were a way to conceal yourself from those seeing eyes, if there are any new kinds of darkness to befriend, you know nothing of them. What does that mean? It means, um, let's have a look at your character. Mm -hmm. Nope. So, um, because of your hat, you have confusion, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Because of your now equipped, uh, floating, you have clairvoyance. Those are both mental mutations. Um, mm. they're both like com basically the combined level, uh, and they're, they're increased because of your ego, um, are being added together to, uh, form your psychic. When your psychic glimmer becomes high enough, you basically become aware of, and also become known by, um, the psychic web of, uh, like the servants Pato. You have met the Pato. They are the this way and et cetera, oh, et cetera. I've shot a lot of them. You've shot a, a lot of them. However, uh, they've only known you as like some kind of like physical embodiment, right? You're just a, a, a physical obstruction, something in the, you know, in the material plane. But now you are also known on the mental plane. That means they know where you are. That they okay. know how powerful you are and they know where you are. And so occasionally as you explore zone, there is a chance you will meet a psychic. Um, this is actually good for you, believe it or not, because um, <laughs> when you kill a hunter, there is a very low chance, but a chance nonetheless for you to absorb their ego for free. Ooh, bring them. The higher your ego gets, the more powerful your mental, the more powerful your mental mutation, the more, you know, the more you are known. Eventually, they'll send assassins after you, and that's when really interesting. I'm going to disassemble that. Yeah, people have been saying uh, that, um, you know, we might want to consider a high voltage arc winder. I understand why, and I don't disagree with you, uh, comment. However, um, I think the light rail is serving us pretty well. Pretty sure the arc winders are very low range. They are almost like melee. However, the nice thing about the arc winders is they basically go straight through AV. Um, they also do a, a high amount of damage. They're great. I love arc winders, but the light rail is just, you know. Big like, bug. Yeah, we've, we found a layer of Castricrianus. Uh, Fato Tope, legendary uh, giant dragon. We'll conclusion. Come to a conclusion. It's Starfire's Quay. Reshep consulted with mere strangers and learned the secret of the gyre. Gyre? Because of the misdeeds of the Elder Sods and Sultan's stars being ha star beings had levied a curse on a curse and could. Chef vowed to make right from this wrong and redeem our doomed world. You know, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember that. That's some Reshef lore you, that I don't remember. You've never come to that conclusion before. Apparently. Do, 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 I mean, do, I have to do, imagine do. I have. There's no way I would miss Reshef lore this late in the game. The number of times I've played through Cud, you would have thought I would have crossed that. Also, it didn't say that you note know, the Reshef lore in your journal. Like, is that, did that count as Reshef information? I mean, it, maybe. I don't... <laughs> Well, I mean, let's, let, I'm just let's curious here. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sultan history, Russia. It'll be near the bottom. Uh, yes, there it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's Russia lore that we can hand in. Apparent. I feel like okay. Those are all dollar signs that they're worth reputation, but it doesn't tell us if we've hand handed in any Russia lore as of late. You probably have a bunch of uh, XP waiting for you at this. Yeah, we haven't done that for a while. To done that in a minute. Well. Um, this historic site continues to descend, um, which means there's probably another device waiting for you. Oh, by the way, you want to try clairvoyance? Clairvoyance is actually a real skill. One of my favorite, BH. Look. Yeah, look at that. That's a big circle. I love that for you. Put it, like, right where you are. The center of it, put it, like, basic. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh. It gives you true sight. And, um, the really fun oh, thing about nice. this, before you move around, those are Snapjaw Howler. Pretty tough. Mm. Um, it says they're trivial. Well, they're tough comparatively. Um, the fun thing about clairvoyance is right now, just like sight, like if you waited a couple of turns, you could actually swing around like it's real time. Um, and this also means like um, walk up the wall and uh, you might have noticed he actually towards you. The confusion button skill. 
Yeah, you can confuse wow. him through the wall. That's not a bug, by the way. That's not like a flaw. That's by design. Um, mental mutations are ones that can use through walls if you have sight of your enemy. So clairvoyance is like actually low-key one of the most powerful um, like abilities in the game. It allows you to use mental mutations like war every... And you've seen... You, you remember... You, you know what the toe do right they burrow into your mind and just yeah. like tear your bit apart they could uh, like if they did none of them have clairvoyance basically is what i'm saying if they had clairvoyance they'd be broken unfair because they would be able to burrow a channel into your mind uh through wall which is another way of saying that some of you had that ability into that robot huh we're certainly neutral with them so yeah clairvoyance uh lasts for a few rounds it's now over and and uh you, you get kind of a passing memory of what you saw, but no longer in real time. But I, I'm glad you're getting to, to see some of the mental... They, um, like... I don't know if there's, like, a really convenient analog for describing, like, true kin versus... But, like, mental mutants are in a class of their their own. Like, they're a different ball game. We don't want any... Even, even as... Con, even confused can tell that... We don't have to worry about laser turrets anymore? No, you don't. They're robots. You, you are... You've, you've achieved the dream. Um, being on good enough terms with robots that you aren't shot at by turrets is, uh, it's a dream. This means that we can actually, if we wanted to, we could go to the stair without being, like, um, I don't know, is not the right word, but attacked by one of the most powerful enemies. Okay, is that the moon stairs big thing, is robots? Um, they're there. Moon stair is really nasty. Like, uh, moon stair has some gel, um, tortoises, which are kind of a problem and uh some hindle uh, i don't know like horse ish adjacent um like grazing i guess they've got a few factions there and uh robots are one of them and because robots are one of them uh it means you have the not zero percent chance of uh, encountering the uh chrome pyramid in the wild and chrome pyramids are like diabolically scary they they're they're not like they're so ridiculously powerful that if even see one for like a few turns you might die oh they're real fun but hey you'll get them without at all dying like just kind of hang out with you. what's in the jug honey i do wonder did you know um in the newer new uh this might be a semi i'm not ruining this for anyone um in the new updates for cud uh we now officially have mecha oh caves of cud has become a gundam um well about time it's about dang time. Yeah, um, and I, I do wonder if the Chrome Pyramid is in the future, uh, shouldn't be classified as, as a mech, but I guess it's not. It's, uh, it's bizarre to me that on the Horizon for Cud, Origins of the Dark Cat, uh, on the Horizon for Cud, we, uh, the Cherubim might not be the most powerful creatures anymore. In fact, they probably already aren't. Wild to me, because they're really gods, like, they are literal gods, and yet they're not even, uh, I don't know if they hold a candle to the to the mechs of the large. Uh, oh, your character is confused. Uh, oh. Ugh. Okay. You go down. You go down. Continue on path. Good use of uh, a clairvoyance. Boo. Yeah, boo. Uh, well, at least we know not really to go down there. there. Like yeah. really, to know over there. You you can if you want. Um, wait, see four turns, and you'll have clairvoyance again. Might actually be quicker than exploring the whole zone. Hmm. Eh, just a thought. I'm not. I'm not attached to it. Round do. Oh, it's sleep. Mm. Oh, go somewhere. Oh, flipping everywhere, man. This, this might seem real, like a real problem, but like it's a blessing. The fact that urchins are the, the major threat of historic site is like such a nice thing. Well, that was weird. It was a plant that's like teleporting. Yeah, it was a slinth. Yeah. We haven't really done anything to slinth. Some side quests We've we could do. we killed a bunch of them. We have killed a bunch of them. It's kind of a shame. Um, slinth have a backstory. But they're, these aren't real, they're, they're cult members, so. Why does Slinth have, like, the mercurial effect? He does, he has the mercurial effect. So weird. It's weird and annoying. Glacial Paragon. found the Glacial Paragon, the boon of newly sentient beings. Heck yeah, what is that one? Let's look. Hated by cats. <laughs> really? No. 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 <laughs> Plus X. 200 reputation. This would be doesn't cold damage. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, this, but, uh, certainly we don't use those. Let's get some wedges. Boop. All right, there's nothing left for us on this floor. Oh, there's a freeze ray, but you know, we don't have to take that. There's also a statue. I suppose we do want to look, oh, a legendary by Beatles. Yeah, we can kill that. Absolutely nothing. No reason for us to care about cult. All right. Wah, wah. The slinth begins power skating. 
No. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> oh, what a good, what a good. I'm now favored by Badles. Nice. Slint to the right is power skating. That's really funny. That means they have power skates. We should rob them. Oh, that's probably why that one dude has the mercurial effect. They probably have a mercurial cloak. All right, let's go kill some more. What's that? That is a dollar. Junk dollar. Dollar. I quite like the mercurial cloak. It's actually saved my life on a number of occasions. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those items that is really good to have on you. Um, but it's not one you want to keep on you. Like, if that makes sense, you like, you don't wear it so that when you're in trouble, you can put it on. Ooh, plasma. I can pull that. We could learn plasma. They're useful. There's rocket, rocket skates. skates. Did we, did Curial get away again? Oh. The rocket skates would, I think they would be better for you than your, your folded, your ninefold boots. You'd try them at least once before, uh. uh <laughs> I think we're done. What are you looking for? I feel like I killed more plants than two. But it's hard to look around. You kill that earth generating gas. I don't know where he is. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> you got him. I'm so confused. You're, yeah, I mean, back up out of that room. You want to disassemble that freeze ray if, at the very least. I guess you already did. Oh, there's the mercurial cloak. I took it. Check out what that does. Yeah, it'll be an armor. I mean, I can't wear it though, right? You can't. Uh, no, you can't wear it. But you can look at what it does. Oh, never mind. That's cud speak for you teleport when can damage. Mmm. Mercurial is like a effect that can be on almost like anything. Which is it odd? I honestly wonder if Mercurial uh, robots shouldn't like shouldn't be able to cook them up and uh, have the Mercurial effect. You can if you cook up teleporting. Things. But yeah, the rocket skates um, offer you a movement speed bonus, and then they also like increase in speed. I think if you're moving in one direction, they're they're really strange, but I, I kind of love them. Okay. You have to, if you want to see their effect, I think you have to act. I'm, I'm fine, I'll save it. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, did you do that or did it do that on its own? Did that on its own. Oh, my gun's empty. Yeah, we should, um, well, in the episode here, on the ex next episode, we, we should do some Baroque ruin diving if we can't get an anti-matter uh, cell because you, you're really in need of some batteries. Uh, but... Hey, if you are enjoying this episode or this series at home, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing. It, you know, helps. And also consider uh, commissioning Galen. If you use the code CUDBUDS, you could get Yeah, I'm 10%. bored. Let me draw something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you've been enjoying the art on the thumbnail, uh, that, that was a commission for Galen to draw. and that man. that man. At their, at their godly... Oh, he's got to have rocket skates now. Oh. No, he doesn't. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.